Hello everyone and welcome to a new part to my indie game Devlog series, part 6. The last two weeks were exciting in both aspects of my private life and stealth. As I already said in the last Devlog, I got accepted at uni and I attended some events already there and took part in a math course which is meant for preparing some stuff for the classes. I'm already looking forward to it, it's should, it should be very fun, even though I won't have that much time for stealth as I had before, but I'm sure I can work a few hours on it daily since it's still my free time project uh, and I will still have some free time obviously and I definitely have fun working on it. I made exciting progress with stealth. The first thing which I did was finishing off some bugs in the map generation which I found and some edge cases where walls didn't spawn correctly, that's all fixed by now. After that I looked at the maps and thought that something's not looking good in there. The problem were the proportions of the walls. The old wall meshes I had were rectangular, but obviously that doesn't make much sense as that be a room which is only 2 meters tall. And for example I'm already <laughs> 1 meter 90. So I took a tape measure and noted down some measurements and sizes of my walls in my room, like the height of doors, windows, distance from windows to the ground, relation between length and height of the walls and windows and all that stuff. Then I went in Blender and created a new modular tile set which uses these or similar measurements and the result is much better I think. The rooms have much more realistic proportions now and this was a step which made me think, wow, Slowly the game is getting somewhere in the right direction. I also UV'd the new wall meshes even though I suck at making UV maps. So they look fucked up on the meshes but I think I will use world aligned UVs for the walls anyways. So it doesn't matter how big a mesh is, the texture will always be aligned. So another thing which I worked on which I'm very proud of is the <laughs> window generation. I first searched for any mathematical solution for this but then I found out that there's a much better way. I created a data table inside Unreal which is predefining the window layout associated to the length of edges of a room. So if a room for example has a 3 unit long edge, uh, it will look up the specified window layout in the table which would be no window, single window, no window for this case. This is fast, modular and in the future I could even add more of these tables and let it randomize over them so that makes it very modular and I love modular things. And there is one another thing I did. The last thing I did was decreasing the grid size because before one grid cell was exactly that big as one floor mesh piece. But that left the player with a very restricted way of moving in rooms so I thought well let's try to half the grid size. Uh, so now four grid cells fit in one ground mesh. It required some new code and refactoring old one but that solution feels much more crisp and clean, leaves the player with much more movement capability inside rooms and it also fits better the player's proportions. So all in all I'm very happy with all the changes I got to work on the last two weeks and as I said earlier I'm really feeling that the game is getting to an awesome point, slowly but steady. Alright, that is going to do it for this time. If you're interested in what I do I'd be super happy if you like or subscribe to my channel. If you got any questions, ideas or feedback or whatever you can always shoot that in the comments, join my discord, links in the description. Or, I don't know, send me a mail or something. As always, there's one thing left to say. Have a nice day and take care.